guys, how you doing? This is Dr. Mike from My Can Clinic. Hey, I'm gonna do another video. We've been getting a lot of questions about um, kids and you know how do we evaluate or assess a child. One of the big ways that we try to evaluate the pelvis and the lower back is through the leg lengths and seeing if one leg's shorter than the other. When we when the kids fall and they land on their bottoms or they jam their pelvis up, what ends up happening is that pelvis will rotate and it'll shorten up one of the legs. So if you want, you can come on in here and I'll show you what a short leg looks like. So what we do is we make sure they're nice and straight. And then if you look, you see how his right foot is shorter. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. As you can see now, both feet are nice and even. Now as far as in a growing child, that makes a huge difference because you could imagine if they're walking around as they're trying to grow, legs are growing, bones are growing, muscle tissue and different things like that are growing, their gait is disturbed by the short leg and the locked up pelvis. So what ends up happening is, is they short step that leg or they continue to jam that, that side of the body into the pelvis the knee joint to put stress on the ankle, the knee, the hip joint, it just can cause a lot of irritation in the lower back. All right, hey guys, I hope you found this video very informative on how to evaluate your kids and just kind of look to assess to see if maybe they need to get their spine or hips checked. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 618-254-CARE. That's 618-254-2273. Thanks, have a good day.